But it's true that um, there is a lack of flexibility, for example. And a lot of uh, places also only accept cash, especially supermarkets. We say a lot that Japanese people are really polite, but we always say that it ends at the train station. Yeah. When you interact with Japanese people, it's hard to tell what they really think. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. Today, I'm going to interview foreigners in Japan. What you don't like about living in Japan? Okay, let's find out today. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan without traveling or living. And you can also learn Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. On my Instagram, I show my daily life in Tokyo and share information about Japan. So if you haven't followed yet, please follow it too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, thank you for your time away from. It's okay. I'm from Turkey. Turkey, nice to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet you. Uh, how, how long have you been in Japan? Almost like six years. Six years? Yeah. Oh. The reason that I came to Japan is almost like begin with anime. It's everything begin with anime, so I'm living in Japan. I'm living in my dream country right oh. now. And so. Then, and then six years later, you're still here. That's yes. Nice. I just so turned back to Turkey just one time, so. Oh. This question is about things you don't like about living in Japan. I think you like here. That's why you stay here. But uh, maybe there are some points that you couldn't accept. You didn't. You don't like that much. Yeah. Is there anything? Yeah. Actually, there are a lot of things to explain. But mm, when I came to Japan, I just think about Japanese people. Is like they are wearing masks in society, mm. hiding something from the other peoples and the society. Like they have two kind of character in society for the friends, for the family. Uh. This is the first and the most hard thing to accept in Japan, so... So even when you con when interact with Japanese people, it's hard to tell what they really think. Yeah. Like kanji, katakana, hiragana, romaji. Mm. It's really hard what you have to choose, what you have to speak, and kanji and language barrier for the yeah, other yeah. country people, so... You really need to learn Japanese if you live in Japan for long term. どうやって勉強しました。日本の会社でまあ勤めてて、奥さん日本人なんです。で、青森出身で、まあ継がれ弁とかまあ実家帰るとちょっとあのこれ日本語じゃなくないみたいな、まあ特にお母さんとかお父
actually really rude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Last, last question. You speak Japanese? Sukoshi. Sukoshi? You want to talk in Japanese? No? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yatte <laughs> mitai! Okay. Konnichiwa! Shigatsu kara Nihon ni imasu. Ano, ryugaku sei desu, sanen sei desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for your time. Uh, where from? I'm from Belgium. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, how long have you been in Japan? I've been here for almost a month now. Almost a month? Yeah. What do, what do you do? I study here. You student? Yeah. I've never been to Europe, but the Belgium is famous for chocolate, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right, right. <laughs> we have really good chocolate. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you like Japan. That's why you came here. Uh, mm -hmm. But there are some, there must be some, you know, negative parts of living in Japan. I like to share. Is there anything at first? The biggest thing maybe is communicating with Japanese people and making Japanese friends because we're used to being very open to each other and talk about everything. But when I meet Japanese people, mm. most of them are really shy and don't talk a lot. So I. I think it's really sad because I know a lot of international people here, but not a lot of Japanese people. But I really would love to meet new Japanese friends, and also like taking the train and stuff. Oh, it's yeah. a good system, but it's it's so huge everywhere, and it's so hard to find things because I remember the first couple of times, especially Shinjuku Station. Right? Yeah, 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 I was gonna say um, the first time that I was at Shinjuku yeah, yeah, yeah. Station, I wandered around for more than an hour because I didn't find a way. Oh. I just didn't know where to go and how to pay. Uh, so that was like the biggest. Thing that I really that I really didn't like at first, but now I got used mm. to it. So now it's fine to take the yeah. train and metro, especially Shinjuku Station. When I go somewhere that I haven't been, to, it's hard for me, uh, even as a Japanese person, you know. Okay. Yeah, a lot of lines and a lot of uh, places also only accept cash, especially supermarkets. Yeah. Yeah. That is, I think, that's kind of Japan's behind in yeah. that sense. In that sense, yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. yeah. And it, that's not the thing at home. Like with us, everything is with cards. Mm -hmm. Everything is card. Usually shops don't take cash, and here's the complete opposite, so always have cash on you. And if you're going to visit a lot by train, buy a card, buy Suica cards or Pesmo cards from the beginning because it's going to be way easier yeah, if you yeah, have to yeah. travel fast. Yeah. So I like the most basic things for me to like know when you visit Japan. Last question, you speak Japanese? No. No, yeah? Thank you so much. No problem. No Thank problem. you. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? Thank you so much. So I'm French. I'm from Paris and Little Britain as well. And what brought you to Japan? So actually it was a dream as a little girl, like since I am maybe five years old. So it's really a dream come true for me today. Mm. And I've been waiting for so long for that moment. So I found a job here in Tokyo. So I work as a marketing manager for a startup that is specialized in artificial intelligence. So it's very innovative. Oh. And yeah, I'm really lucky. I'm really grateful. Oh. Yeah. Things you don't like about living in Japan. Things um, you found it's difficult mm. to adapt. Is there anything? Actually, so far I'm having like a great experience, so it's a difficult for, uh, question for me. But it's true that um, there is a lack of flexibility, for example, in administration. It could be really difficult as a foreigner to adapt to that, like to order a SIM card, to obtain a credit card. It takes a lot of time. You need to prove a lot of things, you know, before you can obtain a credit card. But I think that a lot of people are complaining about all the rules here in Japan, but actually it's one of the fundamentals of Japanese society, isn't it? Like it's really helping to structure and organize the society. And this is why Japan is such a safe place, actually. The things I really like with Japanese people is that once you get to know them, when you're really making an effort, when you want to be a friend with them, then I think it's for life, like it's forever. Then they're more like genuine, but it takes more time. This is what I really like. Last question. Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately, no. no. I just you been here just two, two, yeah, two Yeah, months. just two months. And you learn Japanese I haven't now? started to learn yet. I will do this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. I hope this video helped you when you come to Japan. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave the comment too. See you next time.